Our final presenter before the beer break is a Calgary-based artist, singer, and actor who has been using the vehicle of drag to entertain crowds for the past five years. Ask nicely, and she just might teach you how to tongue pop. <laughs> Give a warm welcome to Europa. So I just have to get my notes out of here. Just a second. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Hiya! So hello, I'm Europa. Meow, meow! Mwah. Mwah. Yes, it's me. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's a really nice slide. Okay, so a little bit about me. So, I am a drag queen. Surprise, right? <laughs> yes, it is true. I, I do drag. I have been doing it for about six years, uh, part-time, just for fun. But within the last few months, I have become a professional, <laughs> which is quite fun. A little bit about me. These are just a few pictures, and they're gone. So now I'm going to talk about uh, Count Me In. Okay, so I had to think about this theme, gave me a little bit of trouble. At first I was like, okay, it's like five, six, seven, eight, da 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 Right, and then I was like, I don't know how far I can go with that, so what else can I do? So, a bit of a struggle, but eventually I started to think about inclusion, right? It was like, okay, count me in. It's like, hey, you want to go to the mall? It's like, yeah, sure, girl. So I was like, okay, I could do that. But then I thought to myself, I'm not really the one to talk about inclusion. I experienced a lot of exclusion, actually, in my life. And I was like, okay. We can go with that. So I wanted to talk about my journey from in exclusion to inclusion, right? And we have to start at the beginning, right? Very good place to start. So I thought I would take us all back before Europa was born, before all of this, right back to when I was created, okay? Don't worry. I'll Go past the gory details. Let's start when I was a wee little baby, okay? So that's me on the right. So I was real fat. My mom likes to remind me of that. Nine pounds, seven ounces. She still yells it at me when she wants me to feel really guilty. Um, I stretched out, still had the nice little uh, mushroom cut there, and started to become a, a wonderful, flamboyant, young little child. Um, a few of my interests, okay? So uh, Cats the Musical, loved that. Uh, very impactful on my life. Um, what else? So, um, not just cats, like, just m Pokemon in general. Also, I love to praise uh, Jesus. That was a big part of my life. Um, and Cats Don't Dance. Oh, great musical. It's just a little VHS moment. Um, and uh, this is how the world felt about that. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I was a, a wonderful little, little rainbow child, and uh, I made a lot of people very confused. Okay, and people didn't know what to do about that. And then it got worse. Uh, something else happened that was very tragic for me. Puberty. Right? Uh, has anyone seen Big Mouth? Okay, so this is Big Mouth. It's just, just this show about these kids that are going through, you know, that point in their lives and all of the horrible things that happen. Um, so there's something, uh, it's sort of a phenomenon that happens when kids go through puberty. It's called Spot the Gay. Right. So kids start to, you know, they start to get smart. They start to realize that one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> and that was a bit of a struggle for me because it was really hard to conceal. And I tried to. So actually, I, I, I drew this little thing. Um, so these are actually, this is a little, a little moment, okay? So that's me in the middle. That's Europa. Um, I was actually probably a lot taller, but it's just for exaggeration. Um, and you can tell it's real, this drawing, and it's accurate, because that's a Dragon Walmart shirt that he's wearing, one of my bullies. Um, yeah, they made my life pretty rough, and they said, you have to make sure that you conform. And I was like, hell no! <laughs> Absolutely not! I was, I was faced with a choice. You either conceal, don't feel, or you go somewhere else. And I had to sort of conceal and don't feel for a while, but on my own time, I said, that's not going to happen. Let me find some inspiration. So here's my inspiration, okay? 
So uh, you might not know all these things, but that's He-Man on the side. He-Man sings particularly. If you have seen that on YouTube, you need to look it up right now. It's iconic. Did a lot of origami and crafts, some Lego, a lot of video games. You can probably tell the one common thing about all these things is that it was all sort of a one-player deal. But then I was introduced to RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay, so we know what that is. If you don't know what RuPaul's Drag Race is, it's a competition show for drag queens. All right, you're trying to become America's next drag superstar, and this was very impactful on me, as you can probably tell. Um, and that started my drag journey. So on my own, I was painting my face from about, oh, let's say about 17, 18. And you can see from right to left this journey. And as I continued through this journey, I actually started to make a few friends. So it was my opportunity to be exactly who I was. And this led me to something pretty amazing in the drag community. This is called a drag house, the house of Prince. So my mom is Stephanie Prince, okay? So when you're a young drag queen, you're saying, I need someone to teach me, and then somebody teaches you, and that person is called your mother. And this was the final time that I actually found my community. So I was completely who I was, and I actually had a group of people that supported it. I no longer had to hide myself ugh, in a shell. Just love how that little moment happened. And I had been doing that for a long time. And it was the first time I didn't have to conceal all the things that I loved. It was, for once, I could actually break out of that and be who I was. And I would say I successfully found a community that accepted me for exactly who I was. So I just want to review, OK? Because I think that's, that's useful, you know, just to remember everything, just to seal it all in. So let's go. Uh, what did I do? All right, come on, Europa. You see her? That's her luscious hair. Just kind of like mine. All right. So I was who I was. Let's start at the right, the top right. I was who I was, loved cats, Garfield, all that great stuff. And I said, absolutely not, I'm not going to conform. All these bullies, you may have gotten me down, but that does not mean I'm not going to follow my heart. And so there I am, finding Drag Race. There I am, pursuing everything. Oh, and it's gone, just like that. And now I am who I am today. And I am here presenting to all of you. So I had to say a very wonderful meow meow to all of you. And thank you so much. Have beer. Yeah.